and then he said give me your ipod i had an ipod touch ever and i put it away because i noticed that something was going to happen okay but he saw it and he said give me the ipod and i had some food with me at the time and one thing you do never be never be the victim i wasn't going to say no to him because once you say no you're the victim so he said give me your ipod and i said what was the rule again you, you well, remember well, the rule what happened the rule is don't resist evil that's an old ah don't saying. resist the evil but um he said give me your ipod and i said look i've got some food here if you want you know it's okay it's healthy stuff and i sort of threw this food at him like not i'm not talking literally i really offered it to him big yeah. time and he said no i don't want your food and he got all confused and he started to pace around the tr carriage a bit and then a few more minutes passed and i thought i'm probably gonna have to get off uh, were you alone and him and uh, there you only two other people on the carriage but they were at a distance i see and then he said again but quietly give me your ipod and then i stood up and i said quietly yeah but no gun no knife no gun no nothing it was going to be a fist fight i think and uh i stood up with my food i said look you got me at a bad time uh next time ask me again and then i'll probably have something for you um but uh you just can't ask just like that because you got me sort of unprepared but definitely next time i might have something for you and then i at that moment the, ca the doors opened it wasn't my stop but i just thought i gotta get off this train and i just slipped off the train and i heard him swearing behind me and but i wasn't gonna look back once he looked but back but you can also use the uh, the door in between the train uh, the cars what to, to escape him to I escape was, from he, he one car to spot. other car if i got to, he would have followed he could have followed me but maybe there is uh, a lot of people in the next car was it too maybe, late it was eight or nine o'clock at night early not so that late was, that was in summer but. well you're lucky again anyway because uh, you are in the quiet part you of the what? car in the yeah. end i was at whole foods yeah and i left my ipod there and the guy stole it in the end anyway <laughs> I, what I, happened? I, I left it there and I, I walked away. I came back 30 minutes later. It was gone. Really? We your it. your iPod? Yeah. yeah. You just forgot it. I That's, just forgot it. Yeah. It's gone anyway. It's gone anyway. But it's much better than uh, losing it in in under violence uh, or with violence. Yeah. I, I don't. I didn't want to go down that path. Yeah. That's. You know. You're lucky. You. So you had you had bad experiences in in very short time. Uh, no, I have been here two other times. Oh, this is from other times. This is from another time. Oh, okay. So how long did you stay here altogether? Uh, six months. Seven Still months. very short time altogether. Maybe I've been time. here in uh, like how many years? Twelve years. Yeah. And I worked so many hours uh, in in this twelve years in this especially. 10 years uh, extreme hours you know overnight like 24 7 working as a limo driver and then my own bus and uh, I never had any uh, I never actually witness or uh, victimizes uh, you know like robbery or other violence yeah okay. Well, you know, these were very one, two, three. Not many things happened, but um, but I was living down near Coney Island, and it's not a nice area, is it? No. Uh, no. I I worked in the Manhattan area, yeah, and Manhattan. yeah, I worked in the very lighted areas in my car limo, mm -hmm. and uh, of course when I have bus, uh, it was more outside their reach <laughs> yeah because when you work as a limo uh, operator you deal with uh, you know Wall Street uh, lawyer you know law firms mm. so you expect uh, you know the uh, registered customers you know the company employees mm. and you don't expect anything from them mm -hmm. 
except they might uh, get into argument deliberately and and complain about you, try to ruin your uh, your job, mm -hmm. but not like robbery like that or anything. But before that, I uh, when I stopped driving, I was taxi driver first in Long Island in uh, Bayshore and um, Babylon area and taxi uh, like picking up customers from some areas was extremely dangerous really? yeah so I was doing uh, the um, the gym stuff and so you know I was feeling I had that feeling that some customers like they want to rob you and they check you like oh are you going to gym oh you look you look very strong like they check you you know like bodily they're afraid if you if they they think you're gonna fight back and you have some muscle so they check you I was I I really felt this many times because they weren't friendly or anything but still touching me you know that feeling somebody touching you but you know there is no connection no friendship so because taxi driver they need cash and they think hey can i threaten this guy or can i pull a knife or do something you know yeah. but it was only one month i drove a uh, cab in Besho and another month in babylon which is next town in long island and then i joined the uh, the uh, school bus company and so uh, it's safe, you know, in the school bus or ambulance company, you know, all companies are safe. Taxi driver, you know, cash shop, yeah. very dangerous. The only friend of mine that ever drove a taxi was in Melbourne. He got approached a lot by women in the taxi, wanting to have sex with him. And, uh, yeah, 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 I had these experiences and I always knew that they're cops and working for cops. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Because uh, when once you uh, kind of make a deal with them, and then actually you become, it's not my my way of uh, 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 my it's not my lifestyle. First of all, even if it is, uh, it it's like uh, you don't know this woman. Maybe she's undercover, young woman, trapping you very easy you you going to jail right away right if you if if you that's your lifestyle and and you trust that uh, you know that person okay to give the viewers a funny story there was a woman in uh, melbourne who used to try to lock the taxi drivers inside her house and then lock them, lock inside. them inside her own home. They said, come in for a coffee, she said, come in for a coffee. Yeah, And she would lock Friendship, the door and try yeah. to have sex with them. <laughs> uh, for money? No, just for free, because she really wants to have sex with anyone and with the men. So why do you think she has to lock men? Because she's not that pretty. So? So she, wants, she really wants to have love and sex in her life. So her only contact with men is in the taxis. So whenever she I see. whenever she catches a taxi, she always invites the man in her home. Like, oh, can you help me for my package? Or I have or, something. We have to stop in my them. house, and and then I need your help for my luggage. Trick them. Or just it's come, possible. come in for coffee. She locks the doors. One taxi driver had to escape through the window. Yeah. To get a because she he didn't want to have sex with her. Yeah. But um, many men have been with her because. <laughs> She forced them, locked them. Well, there is no way there's, out. There's, there's, there's some voluntary and involuntary, but you part, know, yeah. You know, she's an she's an old skanky woman. You know, one of the you know the type. They always tend to focus on stuff that seems But um, I never had uh, this kind of situation, even though some women may be uh, very uh, touchy. Yeah. I mean, uh, like mushy. <laughs> but. Maybe I am too tough on, on on those. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Too, you know, kind of problem guy for them. So I say, oh, forget about this guy. He's too tough. Well, Manhattan's different. Uh, yeah. This, this happened in uh, a poor suburb of Melbourne. Mm. 
what are the messages coming through? You should head back to Unionsk, uh, almost time to pick up water pick. Yes, okay, that's true. They're telling me, uh, I told them earlier, I'm gonna do, I have to do something, so they reminded me, time to go back. Union Square? Yes. Okay, take care. Take care, see you later. What's your name again? Tis. Tis, right? Tis. Tis. Yeah. That's uh, Portugal name, original one? Yeah, it's Portuguese. Okay. Yeah. Very nice meeting you, Tis. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Okay.